today topic of discussion is nitrogen balance what is nitrogen balance nitrogen balance is the measure of nitrogen input with the nitrogen output subtract from it basically the amount of nitrogen that is coming into our body should be equal to the amount of nitrogen those out of our body nitrogen comes into our body in the form of amino acid amino acid is source of nitrogen get in and also nitrogen is created out of our body urea urea is main excretory product amino acid that is protein are main nitrogen sources for us and urea is major excretory product so when we are talk about nitrogen balance that is nitrogen coming into our body it should be equal to the amount of nitrogen excreted out of our body nitrogen intake is equal to nitrogen excreted so that is when we are in nitrogen balance so the condition is called positive nitrogen balance nitrogen balance is equal to nitrogen intake minus nitrogen loss source of nitrogen include meat dairy and dairy product eggs nuts legume grains and cereals example of nitrogen loss include urine feces and sweat two type of nitrogen balance is there positive and negative nitrogen balance what is positive nitrogen balance the amount of nitrogen is coming to our body amount of protein that we are eating it should be more than the amount of nitrogen that we are excreting in the form of urea that is positive that means we are retaining the nitrogen the amount of nitrogen that coming in is less than that the going of ammonia out when we are taking more nitrogen and excreted in less nitrogen in the form of urea what will do that amino acid that is we retain in our body in the form of new protein refer to as positive nitrogen balance positive nitrogen balance we have condition here first one during pregnancy pregnancy fetus growing inside mother more protein required here also cells need to undergo multiplication so lot of protein demand is there protein intake more than excreted second thing is childhood there is growth and development of childhood so new muscle are coming bone growth is there so they required more protein third one is recovery from illness it is a catabolic condition that is muscles protein are broken down when the person is recovery recovering from the chronic illness so rebuilding of those degraded muscles happen that means the amount of protein coming in will be used than the nitrogen is created fourth one is body building person try to improve the mass during body building process what new muscle growth is there muscle protein are synthesized 
so it is positive nitrogen balance that's why the body builder take more protein and excreted less urea because they consumed last one is during feeding after starvation during starvation the particular period breakdown of skeletal muscles protein are used for gluconeogenesis during feeding after starvation so recovery is going on here previously all muscle protein degraded so basically replacement is going on that is another example for positive nitrogen balance these are the example of positive nitrogen balance pregnancy childhood recovery from illness bodybuilding feeding after starvation next negative nitrogen balance negative nitrogen balance person taking less nitrogen and excreting more nitrogen what it means the protein already present in our body they are breaking down amino acid undergo catabolism nitrogen presented in amino acid there are the few example of uh, negative nitrogen balance first one is starvation during starvation what will happen skeletal muscles undergo degradation that is the carbon part is converted into glucose and ketone bodies whereas the nitrogen is converted into urea so more urea is going out of the body starvation food is not taking in nitrogen not coming in so starvation first condition second condition is chronic illness it is a stressful situation so protein degradation will going on that means the person using muscles protein the amino acid nitrogen is converted into nitrogen is converted into urea so more urea is going out into patient body any other catabolic condition like stress trauma cancer where there is catabolism of skeletal muscles protein protein are breakdown nitrogen is going out of the body in the form of urea deficiency of essential amino acid even single amino acids uh, deficiency can put a person into negative nitrogen balance example methionine whenever translation is going new protein is synthesized aug initiator codon need methionine there is increased catabolism of protein that put negative nitrogen balance last one is that aging process senescence will put person into negative nitrogen balance because skeletal muscle protein are breaking down here thereby amino acid nitrogen is going into urea formation the carbon is going into glucose or ketone body formation so these are the example of negative nitrogen balance so in this video we discussed nitrogen balance then positive nitrogen balance conditions of positive nitrogen balance then negative nitrogen balance along with the examples thanks for watching